After reading chapter 1098, some may wonder why Dragon didn't rescue Ginny, even though he knew where she was. People might think Dragon is nothing but a big fraud and he is nothing like his son and his father. In One Piece, we've noticed that when a friend is in trouble or gets insulted, they're willing to fight against the whole army of the nation for their friend. For example, Shanks sacrificed his arm to save Luffy. Following the moral code Luffy and other Straw Hats risk their life and went against a world government to save Robin. Like his grandson Garp went up against an entire emperor organization to save his beloved student Kobe. Garp believes that when you have to decide it between saving an old person and young person it is your moral duty to let the old man die and preserve the future. Roger became furious and destroyed an entire army of a nation because they insulted one of his friends. Lastly, a great example is Whitebeard, who faced the strongest army of the world government to save his son. Whitebeard really wanted a family and he was willing to do anything even if it meant sacrificing himself to protect his loved ones. However, for saving a single person, it turned out to be a big mistake as he lost many of his people due to his actions. Both Whitebeard and Garp risked their lives to save their underlings because they consider them more important than their own lives, because it was their desire. But Dragon's dreams and desires are not limited to any one person. His dream is to continue fighting for freedom until he can put an end to the tyranny of the celestial dragons. So, he's facing the largest army in the whole ocean, so he needs more manpower to take down the biggest army in the entire ocean. So, sacrificing many for just one person isn't the right choice. In my opinion, Dragon made the right decision. What do you think? Share your thoughts below.